Hello. In this video, we are going to see how the Gibbs energy, G, changes with variations in the pressure. Recall that the differential of G, the Gibbs energy, dG, is equal to minus the entropy S, dT, where T is the temperature, plus the volume times dP, where P is the pressure. To see the derivation of this expression, please see this video here. This expression for the differential G shows that it depends upon the temperature T and the pressure P. So let, to isolate the pressure effect, let's set the change in temperature dT equal to zero. Now, under this specialized condition, we have specifically that dG is equal to VdP. Our next step is to integrate each side between the limits of P1 and P2, say between an initial and some final pressure. Next, we assume ideal gas behavior, so therefore we can replace the volume V here by the expression nRT divided by P. Notice now that in this expression T, because dT is equal to zero, it is now a constant and not a variable. The only variable in this expression is the pressure P. Because nRT is a constant, it can be pulled through the integral sign. So now the right-hand side becomes nRT times a definite integral from P1 to P2 of dP over P. The antiderivative of dG here is just simply g. So we have g at P2 minus g of P1 for the left-hand side. All we have left to evaluate is the right-hand side. And we notice that we have the integral of dp over p. Since the integral of 1 over p is the natural log of p, the right-hand side now becomes nRT times the natural log of p2 divided by p1. Then simply adding g of p1 to each side, we get our final result that g at pressure 2 is equal to what G was at pressure 1 plus nRT times the natural log of P2 divided by P1. Thank you very much for your attention. Have a good one.